It's hard to believe the Subaru Ascent is almost five years old already, but it's getting there. Thus, Subaru went back to the drawing board and whipped up a mid-cycle refresh that breathed some more life into a three-row family SUV that was compelling to begin with. Subaru on Tuesday unveiled the 2023 Ascent. It arrives at dealers this fall in five trims, base, premium, onyx edition, limited, and touring. To help bring its look closer in line with other new Subaru models like the Forester, the Ascent picks up more angular headlights and a new set of taillights, in addition to a tweaked front bumper with better aerodynamics. Subaru also gave its safety systems a boost. The latest iteration of the EyeSight suite of driver aids promises smoother operation over a wider range of conditions, thanks in part to a wider field of view, software tweaks, and an electric brake booster. An additional wide-angle forward-facing camera promises to improve pedestrian and cyclist detection in intersections as well. Models with blind spot monitoring also get a new evasive steering aid that can help steer the vehicle around a potential collision at speeds under 50 miles per hour. There's also a new surround view camera system on offer, and the backup camera gets its own washer to keep the lens from getting gumped up. It's the biggest Subaru sold today. The three-row Ascent SUV comes with all-wheel drive and enough seating to accommodate up to eight passengers. Powered by a torquey turbocharged 260-horsepower flat-flower engine bolted to a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, the Ascent earned a 27 miles per gallon rating on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test route. That's marginally better than the last Mazda CX-9 and Kia Telluride we tested from this segment. The Ascent's comfortable ride, massive infotainment touchscreen, and long list of standard safety features are admirable. But its significant road noise and a cramped third row keep the Ascent from, well, ascending to the top rank of the mid-sized three-row SUV segment. Parents with children in the third row will be happy to hear that Subaru also added a microphone system. This takes the voices of front row occupants and beams it to the third row through the speakers. However, this new tech is limited to models with Subaru's uprated Harman Kardon surround sound audio system. The Ascent gets a major infotainment upgrade, too. All 2023 Ascents will come standard with an 11.6-inch portrait infotainment display running the latest version of Subaru's Starlink infotainment system. It offers controls for climate control in addition to the usual telematics stuff, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. Otherwise, the Ascent is largely the same as the one that came before it, and that's great. Its 2.4-liter, turbocharged flat-4 engine makes a sufficiently peppy 260 horsepower, all-wheel drive is standard, and the SUV can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Pricing has not yet been announced, but Subaru will likely change that closer to the Ascent's on-sale date. Subaru refreshes the three-row ascent for 2023 with a new grill design, revised lighting elements, and improvements to its standard equipment. The 6.5-inch and optional 8.0-inch infotainment displays have been replaced by a vertically-oriented 11.6-inch touchscreen. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are now standard, and driver safety assistance such as adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping assist have been improved within Subaru's EyeSight Safety Suite. The Ascent now offers an optional 360-degree camera and a cabin connect interior speaker system to help communication between first and third row occupants. The Onyx Edition gains green interior stitching, a panoramic sunroof, and additional drive modes with hill descent control. We think the premium model packs the best balance of desirable features and overall value. Every model has all four wheels spun via the same plucky turbocharged four-cylinder powertrain, but the base Ascent and the Premium have slightly better EPA fuel economy ratings than the top two trims. Compared with the base model, the Premium gets standard upgrades that include blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, heated front seats, a power-adjustable driver's seat, and a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot. Those who want to ditch the second-row bench seat are in luck, as Premium, Limited, and Touring all have an available seven-passenger option for an additional fee. The Ascent Onyx comes with captain's chairs exclusively. We choose that option on our subby, since it also adds hands-free passive entry, a power-operated rear gate, and rear-automated emergency braking. 
With the company's trademark all-wheel drive system, the Ascent is well-suited for four-season family road trips. Its 260-horsepower turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder powertrain delivers middling acceleration, a 6.7-second 60 miles per hour time, and can be noisy under duress, but it'll pull a camper trailer or speedboat. While the Subaru's continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, contributed to a sometimes noisy ride during our testing, the gearless gearbox was otherwise receptive and steady. Paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel are there for those who want more control over the transmission. It took some getting used to the Ascent's throttle response, which was particularly abrupt at low speeds around town. Meanwhile, the Subaru has a comfortable ride, though our test vehicle wore 20-inch wheels it did a good job of isolating us from bumpy roads and soaked up harsh impacts. Unfortunately, we noticed a lot of wind and road noise while cruising on the highway. While the Subaru lacks the fun-to-drive nature found in the Mazda CX-9, the sizable three-row was nicely composed in normal driving. Its light and accurate steering responded to quick maneuvers and felt relaxed at higher speeds. The brake pedal on our test vehicle was firm and progressive, with no play or touchy feedback. Every Subaru Ascent has a 5,000-pound towing capacity. During our 40,000-mile long-term test with one, we put this capacity to the test by hauling an assortment of toys such as snowmobiles and even an Airstream camper. During these hauls, the fuel economy of the Ascent often dropped to single digits. The Ascent is expected to earn 21 miles per gallon in the city and 27 MPG on the highway. Those who select the top-tier limited and touring models will lose one mile per gallon in both categories. Still, the Ascent has above-average EPA estimates and confirmed the latter in our 200-mile real-world test. The top-of-the-line Ascent Limited earned 26 MPG on our route, matching its EPA highway rating. However, rivals such as the Chevy Traverse and Honda Pilot proved to be even more efficient despite having lower government ratings. For more information about the Ascent's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. The Ascent's interior has all the hallmarks of a large crossover with a raised driving position and versatile seating configurations. While the cabin accommodates a crowd, its third-row passenger space trails larger, roomier alternatives such as the Volkswagen Atlas. Too bad only the top two models are available with desirable features such as heated rear seats, a memory driver's seat, power-adjustable passenger seat, and leather-trimmed upholstery. The Ascent can pack up to eight people inside, but in our testing it only held five carry-on bags behind the third row. While that was one less than we fit in the Traverse, the Subaru also had less interior cubby storage than most rivals. Still, it remains the capable travel companion with some clever cargo solutions. These include Velcro straps in the cargo area to hold up the load floor if you need the added room. Our test vehicle had the optional second-row captain's chairs that use multiple levers for adjustments and will fold nearly flat.